Hello, everyone. Well, we everybody knows we, we talk about perimenopause, but today I wanted to move a little bit further along a woman's life, a journey to post menopause, right? Women who might be dealing with some grief, with, with uh, some uh, loss of a loved one or something else. So that's why I have um, uh, you know, invited Shabnam. She is a certified grief counselor as well as a registered nurse who's joining me live. And she'll talk about how women can cope up with grief using not only energy medicine, but also CBT. So thank you so much and welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Amita. I'm happy to be here. Um, as we all know, as women, we, we go through many, many stages of life. And um, a lot of the times we don't realize that some of the stuff we lose uh, as we age uh, could carry grief with them. Uh, that includes go, the body going through changes, um, whether it's by aging, whether it's by having to go to a me early menopause as a form of, you know, with through chemotherapy or on an autoimmune disease. We also carry a certain type of grief with us, which piles up on top of having to work, having to have a family um, and having lost loved ones along the way. So it's, grief is not just about um you know, losing somebody to death. It's more a lot of the things that we go through emotionally. And a lot of times we don't pay attention to it, never mind other people around us. So um, when I started my journey on grief uh, counseling, and I was doing webinars on the side on women's health, it just became uh, clear to me that that is one, one time that people don't pay any attention to uh, going through a grief process for losing, you know, we do lose things once we go through menopause. We first have all of the symptoms, but then it is a change in us. We are no longer um, feeling young and desirable. And we are feeling like some of the stuff that brought us joy doesn't anymore. The people that go through menopause also carry some sort, sometimes they sort of anxiety and depression that goes with it. And all of this stuff they have to embarrassment sometimes going to to work and getting hot, you know, hot flashes while you're giving a presentation because <laughs> that's happened to me. Uh, so that's what I thought it would be a really good way to find a way how to help them uh, in a you know more easier way to go through them rather than just taking medications or just talk therapy. And in my practice, uh, because I do a lot of energy medicine. And I was trained actually in cognitive behavior approaches when I was working in a pain management program as a nurse coach. And it made sense to me that uh, sometimes we don't pay any attention to our thoughts. And a lot of times um, the thoughts that we have in our heads affect our body. We hold grief in our body and then we become disconnected from our body because then we go in our head and all the emotions that come with it. So I just wanted to find a way that bring in the whole mind and body and spirit all together so that uh, we can approach the healing from that aspect. So what I do is I use the CBT for uh, when people are, um, you know, having ruminating thoughts. And if uh, I find that they are grieving the change in their life or any other loss that they have had, and a lot of times they hold uh, some kind of a regret or a guilt, or those are the, the tangible thoughts. And sometimes and the anxiety and depression that goes with it. And we examine um, the thought process from that aspect, from CBT and, and questioning the thoughts and finding out if these are real. Like I've had say people that somebody like lost a parent and say, oh, I could have done more. And they keep beating themselves up for years afterwards. And then we just examine those thoughts and say, you know, did you actually, you know, is it real? Are these thoughts real? Did you not do everything you possibly could and blah, blah, blah. And then I bring them into their body using um, mind-body approaches like um, meditation, guided imagery, uh, and and energy work like Reiki or shamanic therapy that I do. And uh, we get let them get in touch inside their body and see where, where they're holding it. Um, and through changing your thought pattern, of course, you've, you've probably learned that uh, we can change our 
uh, central nervous system, how it operates by just rewiring our thoughts, reframing our thoughts. So that also brings um, in combination with a mind-body therapies, a kind of a peace and calmness to the body. And then while finding out where they're actually holding it in the body, I use the energy um, work to kind of um, clear all the blockages out of the body. And um, for women's health, and especially if they're having symptoms, um, all the hormonal changes, all the uh, mental processes that goes with that, energy work and the uh, reframing the thoughts is very, very helpful because it um, sometimes we don't realize the how how much we hold in our bodies and we just keep going. So if we just were, went after uh, an emotional therapy or a talk therapy, we will never address what's in the body and that gets stuck there and that causes illness after a while. So that's why I do that this way. I combined everything um, based on where the person is at. And um, I suggest some you know, deep breathing. I showed them how to uh, kind of comfort themselves at night when they can't sleep by using the deep breathing, by uh, holding, you know, wherever in their body, like usually it's on the heart and, and your belly, the solar plexus, and just nurturing themselves. Because that's another thing that goes away um, when we are going through menopause, we feel, you know, a lot of the nurturing part of it goes away for us because we don't even nurture ourselves. So um, yeah, so those are my approaches. And so far people have, seem to be responding well you know okay so i, I want to talk about uh, a little bit about you said the tools so i really want uh, our viewers to understand the tools uh, takeaway right the takeaway tools that yes. they can do yeah um so you talked uh, about uh, mindfulness mm -hmm. mind body therapies you know breathing techniques pranayama yeah. what we call it right a meditation a cbt that's a talk therapy um, mm -hmm. and guided imagery anything else you combine it in one session. That's what I'm trying to understand. Or oh, is it like, no, how does it, it depends. Work? On, yeah, it depends on when they come in and we kind of talk first a few minutes and, and assess where they're at, what is, what's going on that day, you know, or what's been going on the previous days that before, you know, when I saw them last. And uh, then we come up with what is the most important thing to do in that session. And then we go after that. But in general, if they're just coming to get into balance, um, I bring them, if they're not really having uh, a lot of mental thoughts, I bring them into a deep relaxation. We do it some guided imagery and then I do energy work on that. Um, and I do this also, not just in person, but I do remotely because it, it works really well through Zoom and um, even the phone call. Um, yeah, so it depends on the session. It depends how they're doing. It depends what their needs are that day. Uh, because the most important thing to, is to really be in that moment and not really worry about past or present, which is future, which is really hard. But it's from that moment that we're in that we can bring about balance and healing, if that makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and is there anything that women can do by themselves? Uh, you know, just a little self-practice, you sure. think? Um, if you, um, when people get really, um, uh, or anxious or, um, you know, cause our vagus nerve that really dictates what all, how our organs operate, it usually goes out of balance in a central nervous system. And that's when we get into the fight or flight. So if you have, people find themselves into, that kind of a state, uh, one of the things that I even do for myself, or if they can't sleep, because, you know, part of going through menopause is not being able to sleep. Uh, some people have insomnia, right? Uh, so um, sometimes I put on this like healing music and in YouTube, if there are apps that people prefer, like Headspace or Calm or whatever, they can do that. Or the simplest thing is um, I do two things. One is I put my hands on both sides of my neck with the intention of calming down my vagus nerve, which it runs from the back of the head all the way down. And then I do that. Uh, if you're familiar with the four squared breathing, like I 
breathe in for count of four, hold for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, and then hold again for a count of four. This brings the whole central nervous system into a reset and a balance. And I've been able to like, when I wake up in the middle of the night and can't sleep, bring uh, you know, a sense of peace and, and be able to sleep that way. That's one of, those are the two things that are quick and easy to do. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. The whole idea was to uh, introduce some of the tools that women can use. And if there's someone is unfortunately going through grief or loss, even it doesn't have to be a loss, but grief, if someone has gone through a cancer survivor, right? Exactly. Uh, Yes. That is also a grief. The grief can be in so many different ways. Um, yes, that, very, that can... very many ways that we don't even realize sometimes. Um, Correct. Yeah, that's right. So there are tools, holistic therapies, tools that Shabnam is uh, talking about that can help you. We cannot replace the grief that you have encountered, but you can use some of the tools to alleviate or ease the pain that you have feeling if you exactly right that is yes that is all we are trying to say and yeah that's all we're trying to do is because grief doesn't really go away but it comes like in waves and to be able to move with the wave and let it you know move through us and it needs an audience it needs to be a witness if you need to cry just cry it's okay you need to get it out of your body if you're angry punch a pillow that's another tool get it out of your body yeah so it doesn't hold up residence there you know yeah yeah Yeah. the whole idea is don't block your body with all the emotions and don't digest your emotions and bring it out right exactly and you will be a liberated person that is what we are trying to say with that thank you so much thank Thank you you. and have a great uh weekend everyone thank you thank you bye-bye